I believe that Texas needs joy. I believe it with all my heart. The race for Texas governor has added a new face and perhaps for some, a familiar voice. Former Texas Public Radio reporter Joy Diaz announced she's running for the Democratic nomination. Politics reporter Daniel Marine spoke with Diaz and a political expert about her chances. I am running to be the next governor of the state of Texas. <laughs> Former Texas Standard reporter Joy Diaz says a brush with COVID-19 made her decide to leave NPR and take a run at the governor's mansion. I got COVID and when I couldn't breathe, I told myself that I, if I survived this, that I wanted to make big changes in my life as well that I wanted to run for office and be the one who created those changes. Diaz faces a tall task overcoming the money machine behind Beto O'Rourke, who trails Governor Abbott by double digits in the latest Quinnipiac poll. Still, Josh Blank of the Texas Politics Project says right now it remains Beto's primary to lose. I think Beto starts the race in a much stronger position than most Democratic candidates have in the past few decades. He has widespread name ID. On the topic of names, with Republicans making inroads with Latino voters in South Texas, I asked Blank if Diaz's last name could give her some kind of edge. Diaz actually likely probably benefits in the Democratic primary more from her time on statewide radio than she does from her surname, which is likely to have have a limited effect among voters who you know, probably don't know enough about the contest to go off of something like someone's last name. Big changes are doable and big changes include everybody. That is my hope. Daniel Marine, State of Texas. In her announcement, Diaz pointed out that it's rare for a woman of color to run for one of the state's highest offices. That fact influenced a big change in the race for Lieutenant Governor. Matthew Dowd said he would no longer run for the Democratic nomination. Dowd called it a step toward a diverse field of candidates in the race. Dowd's announcement quoted an opinion column he wrote back in 2018 where he said that, quote, white male Christians should step back to allow people who aren't white men to access the levers of power. My experience from MPP, all I saw is a lot of human suffering on the other side of the border. Waiting for asylum. The U.S. just reinstated rules for those seeking to come to America to remain in Mexico until their court date. And it's adding a new layer of hardship on those already in dire straits. An up-close look at one family facing the situation and how their experience reflects the big picture along the border.